Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I have some tips on making the most out of participating in a Propellerheads Reason Beta. Um, I've done several of these over the years, and whenever a new version of Reason is announced, usually Propellerheads shoots out an email, you can sign up and start participating in the beta. So these are some things you can do to make the most out of your experience as a beta tester with the newest version of Reason. Um, as we speak right now, Reason 10.2 is in beta, but this really applies. This will apply to future versions of Reason, and this applies to past. This is all based on my experience on multiple of these. So the first thing is that the betas are way slower than the regular versions of Reason. So don't use them as your main music creation tool. This is because they include various, I guess, loggers, um, which is an additional functionality that reports errors and statistics and stuff to propeller heads, which now enables them to get useful data to improve the beta um, and to get a great product. But the consequence of this is that performance suffers uh, pretty significantly. And so I would recommend not trying to do anything super complex in the beta and not using it as your main workhorse version of Reason because it's just going to be slower. Second, and related to that, is don't use it as your workhorse because they tend to crash a little bit more. They're not ridiculously buggy, but they are betas and they do crash. Um, and so save often, but also if you really have an important project to work on, probably don't be in the beta because it's more likely to crash and cause instability. The third thing is that they frequently update the betas. Um, you know, it would be like 10.2A73005 or something, whatever it would be. Um, you want to use the most recent version and stay on top of this because there can really be significant um, fixes that happen between these um, in terms of solving problems and all of that. So stay up to date. The fourth thing you want to consider in the beta is that everything is going to export. Everything theoretically has always exported properly for me, but Propellerheads warns that sometimes it will not necessarily, that it could not transfer to the full version of Reason somehow if you wanted to save a project. So just be cognizant of that. I've never had that problem, but they, they do warn about that. Um, another thing to keep in mind would be that there are forums that are hosted related to the beta. Look at those. Um, people might be ha having the same problem that you're having, uh, so go there, see if they have a solution. But also importantly, report your bugs on the forum because that's a way that the system gets improved. Similarly, submit your crash reports. The logger that we talked about earlier will create crash reports. Be sure to submit them and fill in useful data. Sometimes they let you log right kind of what was happening at the time. So be as communicative as possible. Um, and finally, have fun and actually try to break the beta. That's, that's a big part of the beta testing. Sometimes Propellerheads will say, we want people to try to do this, you know, do these things, um, and we want to see how that works out. So help them break the beta, because that will ultimately create a usable product that everybody will benefit from, including you, once it comes out of beta. So with this said, I hope you have fun beta testing Reason, and thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great updates on Reason and making music.